Hello, my name is Nathan Wetzel and I'm with Airframe Component. And today's topic of discussion is Service Bulletin SEB 94-8 pertaining to the Cessna stabilizers. On the forward spar or any damage that might be to the forward spar, first you'll, you'll have the vertical on here like so and you'll want to remove the fairings at the lower portion of the vertical and with a simple flashlight you'll want to just look on the interior from the side there and look at the ins the lightning hole pertaining where the trim tab actuator cables go through and you can look at that and you can see any damage that might be to the spar or stress that has happened to the spar and also it, you'll be looking for cracks that would develop from those stress points in that spar they would be coming out from edge going towards the flange of the spar now Cessna allows you to stop drill these cracks as long as they stay onto the face of the spar and not onto the flange but the uh, deformation of the stress right here where the cracks are is so bad that we would replace the spar and add the doubler to the spar. All right, to gain access into the forward spar to change out, to add the doubler in there, you will first need to remove the rivets around the center section skin, six rivets on each side on the forward spar, and it should slide right off. Once you have that done, drill the rivets along the rear spar and you can open this up to gain access into it. Then you will need to remove the ribs inside and you'll need to remove these. These are the doublers that they put in there to begin with which did not go all the way through the spar area where you have issues with cracking and stress marks in the in the spar there. This is the doubler that replaces the two brackets inside the uh, inside the spar. As you see this goes all the way through and your attach points are right here and here which take the place of this and just beefs up that center spar area. Here is the spar that we've taken out of a stab and you'll see the stress cracks in here and the stress marks of the spar. This is what you'd be looking at from the inside, from the outside in to the spar. You see the doublers that are on here, you know, not covering this area right here. And here is the, here is a spar that we've the, the doubler is fully mounted in. You can see all they have you add all the extra flush rivets to attach that doubler on with and covers the center section here so that doubles that whole area out and should take care of any cracks developing in the future. Uh, what we will do is after the repair is made we will put install a new skin on there to replace that, the old skin on the center section there and close it all up, rivet all the areas around the perimeter of the skin. Another point for inspection is the attach points on the rear of the stabilizer. You'll want to look for stress cracks from the washers over tightening on the rear of the rib there. Since you have the stabilizer off, this is a good time to also check this bracket back here where the elevator stops mount to because you can access since you have everything else off you can access the rivets really well and remove this if need be put another one on or uh, show attention to any of the nut plates if they need it